Hello and welcome to a new episode of Miavi Toxin TV. My name is Mario and here with Cheyenne we are going to discuss the mycotoxin threat in pigs. Cheyenne, why we should be very careful about mycotoxins in pigs? Hello and thank you for the question. In general, sows and piglets are quite sensitive to mycotoxins and paying attention to mycotoxins is directly connected to animal welfare. For example, trisotetin such as DON and T2 can reduce the protein synthesizers and therefore they can reduce the performance of the pig. They can also reduce the feed intake, they can cause immune suppression and reduce the weight gain as well. Also, DON in combination with some other mycotoxins such as aflatoxin or let's say fumonazine, they can cause leaky gut and all together they can bring diarrhea. And this is also related to the animal welfare. In addition, imagine consuming high contamination feed with the sow, uh, feed of the sow with zeralenone, which could cause negative effect on the reproductive tract of the sow, and this usually can cause even abortion. Usually there is a negative synergy of mycotoxin, which is always underestimated, and this is uh, directly affecting the animal welfare. Mario, now that we are talking about the mycotoxin in sow, I am thinking if mycotoxin can be, let's say, uh, transferred by a sow to a newborn piglet? Oh yes, that's a good question, thank you. As you've mentioned, pigs are sensitive to mycotoxins too. It is documented that Don could be transferred via placenta, colostrum and milk to the newborn piglets too. Oh, okay, interesting. Even placenta? Yes, even the placenta, you're right. In the last stage of gestation, Don is transported efficiently across the placenta from sows to the unborn piglets. This placental transfer is even more efficient than the transfer via colostrum and milk. So as you can see, it's important to monitor the feed given to the gestating sows for having healthier newborn piglets. This can be done by Miavit support, the Mia bond detector system and Miavit mycotoxin risk management. Cheyenne, as you know, piglets are very sensitive to mycotoxins too. Maybe you could share some more information about this with us? Oh yes, sure. Pigs are, uh, in general, they, they are very sensitive to mycotoxin and mycotoxin could cause serious challenges in them, even clinical symptoms. As piglets are quite sensitive, we need to be sure that we are providing a good start. Therefore, gut health is very important. As you have mentioned, mycotoxin can be also transferred via milk to suckling piglets. For example, when sow is in the lactation phase and contaminated feed with a lot of aflatoxin is consumed by the mother or the sow, this could be transferred to suckling piglets as well. So what would be your recommendation for protecting both the sows and the piglets? Oh yeah, that's a very good question. What we recommend or what we suggest is that the solution of us is offering, which is offering the most effective protection against major mycotoxins is that we would give Miabon 360 for the whole gestation and also lactation period of the sows. This supports all round protection of the sow and additionally give protection to the unborn and also suckling piglets. Okay, Cheyenne, and what is the unique point about Miabon 360 and what makes it so different from other mycotoxin binders? Well, that's a very good question because, as you mentioned, there are many other mycotoxin binders in the market, but Miabon 360 is a unique product that is not talking all about adsorption, but we are talking about protection and also biotransformation. The all-round protection effective against major mycotoxins and also endotoxin challenges. We would be very happy to share more information about our solutions and services like, for example, assessment of the mycotoxin risk of your feed. Okay, thank you. So please contact us if you have any inquiry and bis zum nächsten Mal. Thank you.